I'd like to welcome everyone to the August 5th, 2024, Santa Cruz County Board of Supervisors meeting. Uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, before we do that though, I wanna make sure that, um, to notify the board that Supervisor Friend is currently traveling on official county business and will be appearing remotely under the just cause exception. Do we need anything else besides that? No. Okay. Um, Madam Clerk, if we can call, um, roll call. Certainly. Supervisor Koenig. Here. McPherson. Here. Supervisor Friend. Oop, technical difficulties. Uh-oh. Are you, Are able, you to able to hear, hear us, us online? online? I can hear you, yes, but I can't hear anybody else if anybody else was talking. Okay. We're just taking roll call. Supervisor Friend. Here. And Supervisor Hernandez. <laughs> I hear. And next, if we can take um, a moment of silence, if any member of the board would like to dedicate today's moment of silence. You know, I, I think I would like to take that uh, moment of silence. We had a, a tragedy that happened in South County, so we'd like to take this moment for Lisbeth Arceo Serrano. Thank you. If we can please uh, rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So today we have a special meeting agenda. We only have one item, number three. Um, considering adopting the resolution, amending resolution number 143, 2024 to amend ballot question for the state, safe drinking water, clean beaches, wild, wildfire risk reduction and wildlife protection initiative. Uh, we have a um, presentation. Thank you. Good morning, Chair Hernandez and members of the board. Um, on May 22nd, 2024, the board accepted a report of sufficient voter signatures for the initiative petition as validated by the county clerk and adopted resolution number 143-2024 to submit the petition to voters on November 5th, 2024, which is our presidential election. Um, subsequent to that, it recently came to staff's attention that the ballot question does not contain information on the annual revenue to be collected under the initiative. This information is arguably required under elections code section 13119B. Out of abundance of caution, staff recommends that this information be added to the ballot question which requires an additional small adjustment to the language with the required, within the required word limits. So via the attached resolution, amending resolution number 143-2024, we recommend that the proposed ballot question be amended. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thank you. So first we'll see if there's any uh, questions from anyone that the public would like to make any comments. Online, Madam Clerk. I do see that we have a speaker online. <laughs> caller using and uh, caller ending in two nine one five. Your microphone's now available. Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Good morning, thank you. Uh, welcome back from your vacation supervisors. This is Becky Steinbrunner. I am glad that um, the county is paying attention to election code 13119B. Um, it's kind of amazing that it didn't get caught sooner 
but I'm glad that, that it's being addressed now as an important issue. I still take great protest against the, the title and the promised uh, fire, wildfire reduction that this would uh, pay for. That didn't pan out well for the, the vote for the fire agencies with Measure G, did it? That was used also to sell wildfire risk was used to sell Measure G in 2018. And your board has yet to give any money, zero dollars, to fire agencies. So the trust of the voters is not very good right now. And also Measure K in March was used, uh, was sold to the voters again, saying it, it would fund wildfire risk reduction. So this measure, this tax, promises the kitchen sink, everything. And many people have no confidence that this will clearly, with accountability, fund all of this, and especially no money for wildfire risk reduction. So um, I also take umbrage with the fact that the county will take 6% of this 7.3 million off the top. This is a money grab and many of us are seeing it as so. If you can change that, that would be great. Please focus priority projects on wildfire risk reduction. The OR3 is managing it under your direction, so please prioritize fire. Thank you. Tim, your microphone's now available. Hello, thank you so much for allowing me to speak today. I'm a little unprepared, just woke up. So anyways, I just wanted to point out to you that uh, my insurance costs went from 6,000 to 16,000, I believe. And um, I, would, I we still don't have the, the liability and, and uh, extended umbrella policy and all that sort of stuff sorted out. So that means my personal belongings, I suppose, if the place burns down or whatever it is, all that's gone. So I'm not too appreciative of uh, politics in our country anymore and lawyers. I don't like them, okay? So progressives and MAGA, I don't like you. Um, Harris, I'll still vote for her. I like Shapiro, okay, but I'm just going to give it to you straight. Uh, I hope somehow the ghost of Rosie the Riveter comes out of the rabbit hole here and puts a boot up MAGA and progressive derriere, okay? Because it's not just, you know, insurance here. With my mom's guardianship here, I have this company Transamerica here that won't cough up the 600 bucks. And if they're going to go do that, Imagine what they're going to do to everybody else in the United States of America here that has a lot more money hanging around in their 401ks, okay? So we have banking institutions, financial institutions, and insurance companies, and all kinds of bogus politics coming down the pipe here, and it's causing a lot of financial damage, and it's messing with me. I don't appreciate it, all right? I'm quite pissed off now as an American citizen and disappointed. So fix it. Whatever that happens, just fix it. Thank you very much. You take it easy. Bye-bye. We have no further speakers, Chair. I'll bring it back to the Board of Supervisors for any comments, questions, or board direction. We'll start over here. Oh, this, this just was, oh, excuse me. Oh, go ahead. This, I'm just qualified by uh, adequate number of signatures put on the ballot. It's our duty to put it on the ballot as uh, the sufficient number of citizens wanted to do, and I recommend that we uh, accept the recommended action. Yeah, I second. Great. I just had a brief question, um, something that has come to me a couple of times now. I think um, this parcel tax would apply for, in the case of uh, mobile home parks and senior mobile home parks, is it true that it only apply once to the secured property tax bill for the owner of the park rather than the individual spaces? Yeah, I believe there's different types of 
configurations with mobile home parks, but I believe the owner of the park gets taxed and then would divide it up. But if county council has any further. I don't have the answer to that question, but I can get it for you. All right, yep. All right. Yeah, I could follow up with the treasurer as well or, okay. yeah, or with yourself. Great, thanks. Okay. If there's no further questions or comments, we have a motion in a second. If we can take roll call vote. Certainly. Madam Supervisor Clark. Koenig. Aye. McPherson. Aye. Friend. Aye. And Hernandez. Aye. Motion passes. And that concludes our special meeting agenda, and we will adjourn. That was great.